So my name is Elliot Feldman. I'm a physio in Seattle, Washington. Been about 10 years at this point, uh, and I work in the big system. So I work for a large healthcare system. I kind of see all sorts of people from essentially just whatever athlete you want to be, weekend warrior, day of, that kind of thing. I, I kind of think everything's a bit of an athletic adventure, right? Because it's all about exposure and load and trying to progress into it. So I refer to a lot of people as athletes that maybe don't think of themselves that way, but that's just probably more internal definition. Well, I, I just move all the time. I try to. No, that's, <laughs> that sounds kind of lame, but <laughs> um, I play a lot of sports, so I, soccer and extreme sports like snowboarding and things like that and surfing and, and uh, but I try to lift weights. I try to be more diverse in what I do, um, but I try to experiment. You know, I think one of the ways that I bring, that I think of myself as an athlete is that I have just the ability to try something instead of thinking that there's a way I need to do it or a specific type of thing I need to do before I try it. Um, and she actually pushes me that way. So she's working Olymp uh, trying to learn Olympic lifting, and I'm not. Uh, but then when we go to the gym, like down here in San Diego, like we went to a gym, and her workout included uh, cleans and snatches and overhead squats. Uh, and instead of saying, like, I haven't done that, it's like, let's just give it a go. So I'm Ellie Summers, and I'm a physical therapist in Seattle, Washington as well. Uh, and I primarily see women right now working with female athletes, um, women in pain. Um, yeah, so that's, that's what I do. I do as much as I want and as little as I want. Um, I make it a very specific point to do what I like. Uh, so I'm not working towards anything, but I, I play soccer and I love soccer. Um, I am practicing, like Elliot said, Olympic lifting, learning that. That's brand new for me. Um, the last few years I've been doing power lifting, which is a heavier form of lifting and less explosive. We like hiking, snowboarding, running. I run quite a bit as well. Most people that I work with can move, but are disrupted in movement because of pain a lot of the time or maybe have been made to be afraid of movement in that capacity. So everyone I see can move in some capacity, it's just they may not be able to move in the ways that they want. That is the number one thing that I do these days, is get people to understand that they don't have to be competent to move in whatever way they want. Um, and taking action on little things can make you feel confident to doing those things. So I'm trying to work with people who are afraid to move and show them that they don't need to be afraid anymore. Last year, I started having back pain with my power lifting. So heavy lifting, um, started having some lower back pain. And because I'm a little bit more knowledgeable on pain now, I was not afraid to keep powerlifting. Um, and I just kept doing it and kept doing it and kept doing it. Um, it didn't disrupt my life the way that I think it may have many years ago when I didn't understand pain uh, because I wasn't afraid of what it meant. I wasn't afraid of the pain itself. I knew that um, there would be times where it was better, times where it was worse. And I just kept doing it because I loved it. I didn't want to give it up. Yeah, I tore my ACL in high school playing soccer. Um, that was quite an experience as well in terms of like pain and injury and recovering from injury and seeking to understand what it meant to recover and yeah. A phrase that I've stolen from Ellie in my practice is respecting the pain but not fearing the pain. Uh, and I think that's what I think she's sort of alluding to when she's saying I kept power lifting because I loved it, even though I knew it was going to be bad some days and, and, and good other days. And so that phrase has really sat well for me because it's, it allows 
people to take control of it, right? You know, to know that even though they feel it, it doesn't mean that they need to stop. They don't need to give up the things that they love, the, the joy that movement or uh, whatever they're doing brings them. Yeah. Um, and so I think that's kind of a key thing that's shifted in my practice, but also myself over the years is sort of saying like, hey, today might not be the day to push as hard as I want to push, um, or today is going to be the best day ever, and I'm just going to you know, run as fast as I want to run. You know? It's yeah. just kind of playing that out, knowing it's okay. I tried to um, bring the more emergent thought process to that, right? You know, so uh, not necessarily to seek out the explanation. I think you know, when I try to bring like this thought that things like how you feel that day or the stresses that you might be under or um, even just as subtle as like families in town or not in town or they're planning to come into town, you know, like all these things can have the ability of changing how you feel that day um, and how you feel in something that you think you're going to be just that much better at the next day because you've been practicing, right? But in that emergent thought process, I always try to make sure that it's not just to hunt to then avoid, right? I think the, the key problem is the cultural shift thing that I feel is that you start getting people to hunt for the multi reasons why, and then they're like, okay, so then now I don't ever have to have my family in town because then I'll have pain when that happens. And it's like, <laughs> no, it's just understanding how the feeling can be different based on those things. Um, and to know that during certain times it's okay to to fill your cup versus pull from your cup, and that recovery is beneficial. Yeah, I, I tend to value autonomy over everything. I think there's a lot of shame around movement and exercise, and shame of like, oh, I have pain, and I can't do this sport that everybody thinks that I should be able to do, or this activity, and I'm trying to get people to understand that it's more fluid than that, and it's not a rigid process, and to like give yourself permission to exercise the way you want and that feels good that day based on your experiences.